cancer. It doesn't discriminate. It affects individuals regardless of their age, gender, ethnicity, or race. We know this because I can bet that each of us personally knows somebody who has gotten that dreadful news. You have cancer. It could be a neighbor, a coworker, a family member, or friend. The treatment that follows that cancer diagnosis ravages the body in the attempt to kill the cancer. But it also leaves our loved ones feeling weak with new aches and pains and tired physically, mentally, and emotionally. Many cancer survivors will share how they lost their ability to do simple tasks that many of us take for granted. Not being able to lift a gallon of milk or go up and down the stairs robs them of their sense of independence. Not being able to get up and down off the floor to play with their grandchildren or even their own children steals away moments of joy. And if we ourselves have never been through a cancer diagnosis, we try to be supportive and provide empathy. But let's face it, if we haven't been through the poking and the prodding, the uncertainty, the tough decisions, and other challenges that come with a cancer diagnosis and treatment, we just really don't know what it's like. And that is why I'm so grateful for the Live Strong at the Y program that is available to anyone who has ever been diagnosed with cancer. Live Strong at the Y provides healing physically, mentally, and emotionally through exercise and group support. And the program is free, which is a huge blessing to so many of these individuals that find themselves strapped with expensive medical bills due to treatment and frequent appointments. The time and connection together with other individuals that truly understand what it's like due to shared experiences and challenges provides what the rest of us can't. Each session starts with a group of strangers and ends with bonds and friendships you never would have imagined developed over only 12 weeks. And no one can ignore the physical gains that these individuals experience as well. Take Sue, for example, who considered herself to be fit and active before her diagnosis, but through treatment and beyond, found herself unable to do daily tasks like her laundry because she couldn't lift the detergent jug. She heard about the Live Strong at the Y program and enrolled at the South Y. Now fast forward to week 10 when I got to meet her and she shared before class she was actually able to walk two miles on the treadmill and was lifting weights like she had never missed a day. And there's Joyce, whose oncologist was thrilled with her physical health at a recent appointment. On the first day of class, when Joyce completed her six minute walk test, she had to use a walker. Then only 12 short weeks later, she completed that same test while carrying her cane, never once needing it, but having it with her just in case. And then there's Martin, who at 43 years old, enrolled in the Livestrong program because his cancer was terminal. And he wanted to live what days he had left the best that he could. Martin brought strength and courage and hope to every class, and he had the physical strength to be able to bowl an entire game at the YMCA's Bowlathon when he had received news of only having weeks or maybe days left. Through the support of our community, we've been able to help over a hundred cancer survivors each year. But there are so many more that would benefit from this program. When you give to the Y Strong Community Campaign, you give the opportunity for a survivor to experience a new, healthier life after cancer.